Once again, we offer you a humble thanks. You saved a great many lives. And limbs. At least I can do. What's the plan now? Can your brother still be a monk? The Pratimoksha vows are a guide to enlightenment, not binding laws. Though my path is paved with ever greater challenges, I shall not give up. Uh, humor me for a sec. If you don't look too kindly on having implants, then what do you think about constructs? Ah, yes. You mean the relic. A fashionable subject, is it not? It is a complex, fluctuating affair. It all depends on whether the engram is a copy of a person, or if this person merely exists in a digital realm. Let's say the engram's just a copy. What then? Could you say that person is real? If they are truly self-aware, a Buddhist will recognize them as a human being. A perfect copy of a complex human mind is still a human mind. But is it capable of reincarnation? And if it's not, can it still be regarded as a being in possession of a soul? What you're saying, in other words, is it's complicated. Suffering is key. It has been there since the dawn of human existence. If a construct can suffer, he is a person. Let's say an engram's just a person that's been digitized. Is that kosher, in your view? Buddhism does not condemn digitization per se. Bending machines often preach in temples. No, I would not condemn the simple act of transfer under the condition that they are at peace with it. One must still remember that they will still be imprisoned in their body. Even if their body is not flesh. Immortality isn't your thing, I'm guessing. He who cannot die cannot be born into a better life. And will never achieve nirvana. What's your take, Johnny? You just you? Or a copy? What difference does it make? You heard him. I'm trapped in a few lines of code. And your body. Maybe Johnny Silverhand really is dead? Maybe you're just an... <sighs> what? Imitation? That what you wanted to say? If the real Johnny Silverhand's dead, then that's his problem. Not mine. You don't say. Feel a headache coming on just thinking about it. Well then, I wish you all the best of luck. Farewell. And do not stray from the path of righteousness.